For Wyoming, we have student athletes, Jake Hendricks, Quan Marble, Hunter Thompson, Coach Allen Edwards. Coach, let's start with you. Just comments on tonight's game. Um, obviously, uh, excited to be here uh, in front of you guys uh, after tonight. Um, gutsy performance uh, by our guys. Uh, stayed the course, um, even um, being down 10 in the second half. Uh, just stayed together and, and, and continued to chip away um, on the defensive end of the floor. Um, and, and, and was proud of them, of what they did in, in the sense of sharing the basketball offensively. Um, but, you know, gutsy performance uh, by our guys. And, um, um, again, just uh, ex excited to come away with the win. Thank you, Coach. Questions? It's student athletes or the coach. Uh, Jake, uh, obviously maybe not the best shooting performance of your lifetime, but you know you made some of the most timely baskets. Is that something your coach gives you confidence in, that even when maybe you're missing a few shots, that you know you're still teams behind you to make the shots when they count the most? Yep, uh, you said it. My team and my coaches, they all every time I, I, if I'm missing, they all say, keep shooting, keep shooting, and they always give me confidence. And it also goes back to all the practice. Every day in practice, we do shooting, and, and, and it just gives you confidence when you shoot every day. Coach, I haven't seen you guys play a lot this year, but at the end of the game, when they were shooting free throws, you had all your guys back. Is that something that you normally do? Is that a philosophy to maybe set up your defense and not have anybody up there to rebound a miss? <laughs> um, oh, I, 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 you know, I got uh, Jeremy Shide on staff. And uh, we worked for his pop, Larry Shot, and that's just always something we just did. And they just started doing it, and I, I have no problem with it, um, because I'm I'm not so caught up in trying to get offensive rebounds uh, from free throws, unless it's late game scenario or situation. But we've been doing that all year, uh, regardless of. Um, um, it being early in the game or it being late in the game, we we just it's just something we don't do, and, and it's not really something that was taught or you know, like, hey guys, get back. It's more kind of happened. Over here, Jake, can you talk? Can you talk a little bit about the journey you guys have been on? You guys have had some really tough games where you've come up just short. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, now you're on a run. You're into the semifinals. This has to be a real thing, a really great feeling for you. Yeah, it's been a great time. Uh, like you said, we've been in a lot of close games this year, so it, it's given us, even though we lost, it's given us confidence that we can play with everybody in the conference, even though we're 2-16. and 16. Uh, We've had a lot of close games, and we just didn't close them out. We, ha we made a lot of mistakes, and, and I think down the stretch last night and tonight, we, we fixed those mistakes, and, and it's just given us confidence that we can, we can beat anybody. Go ahead. Hunter, you obviously missed seven games with Mono this year. Do you feel like you're really starting to get your footing back? You in this game and uh, I mean it's definitely nice to have my shot fall and I mean cardio wise I feel like I'm getting there uh, just getting the feel back for the game and I mean I just got back cleared this past weekend so I mean it's been a pretty quick turnaround so it's definitely crazy the biggest shot of your life uh, I mean I don't know. That's, I guess that's up for you guys. <laughs> Question for Marble. Um, how do you hold arguably the best player, but the second best player in the conference to uh, two of 13 shooting and that type of performance? What did you do to disturb him out there, uh, you know, defensively? Um, Coach Edwards and the coaching staff drew up a good game plan on the defensive end. Um, we work on defense all the time in practice. We hang our hat on the defensive end and we have all season. Um, I just went out there and I, I took pride in it and I, I stayed in front of him as much as I could. Jake, can you talk a little bit about, you're a Cash Valley guy, you get to play Utah State tomorrow night, can you mm -hmm. talk a little bit about what that means to you to go up against them again? Uh, I know a lot of the guys, so it, it's going to be fun, it's going to mean a lot. Uh, we just got to come out and work hard and, and follow the game plan and just see what happens. Coach. Back here. Uh, Maybe the regular season didn't go exactly how you had planned it, but you know this team has been obviously elevated to a whole new level here in the Mountain West. Do you think your team is playing at a whole new level, or maybe like the game plan is just working out perfectly how you planned it from the beginning of the season? I, I just think we're a little bit more seasoned. Um, you know, a uh, great example would be you know Quan Marble. You know, he didn't play as much uh, early on in the season, 
And to be honest with you, we're, this is probably the healthiest we've been, um, just getting Thompson back off of mono. So, you know, even throughout the year, we had to kind <clears> of <throat> put Band-Aids over scenarios and situations. And some of our younger guys <coughs> getting adjusted to playing at the college level. Um, but, you know, Quan, um, Greg Milton is a first-year player. You know, he had a great game uh, on the road at Air Force. Uh, Kenny Foster has shown um, some um, uh, brightness in, in his future as well. But, you know, Jake, Maldo, even uh, Thompson, well, Jake and Banks are, are only lone seniors. You know, we, we have, again, 11 freshmen and sophomores. And a lot of those guys play minutes. So again, it's, it, what I've talked to our guys about all year, it, it's still a process at the end of the day. And, you know, like Jake was saying earlier, we were in a lot of close games. It just didn't work out our way. What I give these guys credit for is they didn't pout. They didn't have a woe me attitude. The next day when we uh, showed up to practice, they came with the right energy uh, to get better. And I talk to those guys all the time. Even when you're going through some tough passages, the best thing you can do is just keep going. You know, you can't stop, you can't quit. Um, and that's a testament for life, you know, because I always, you know, tell our guys, uh, basketball is a direct correlation of life. The, the, the disciplines that you learn playing this sport if you carry on with them in your life, you know, you're gonna put yourself in position to be successful, whatever successful means to you. Coach, defense was a huge part of the win tonight for you guys, but offensive timely baskets were also big. How much confidence does this give you and your team going into the next matchup, given that, uh, you know, like someone like Maldonado goes one for 10 yeah. in the game, yet you guys are still able to, you know, have a, com a com combined effort and get it done on the offensive end? Well, again, you know, uh, like Quan was saying, you know, day one, we, and even in the summertime, you know, our, our biggest thing was hanging our hats on the defensive end of the floor. Um, we, we understood that we were going to be young. We didn't know that we were going to deal with injury and illness like we did throughout the season. But, you know, you made the point of uh, Maldonado. Um, I think he was one for eight in the uh, first half, and he only took two shots in the second half. And that's probably testament to him, understanding that tonight wasn't his night. But he did a lot of other things, defended and rebounding. And that's kind of what we always talk about. It may, it may not be your night some nights, but how are you helping this team uh, when you're out on the floor? So to be able to put together a performance like that uh, and our leading score, not being able to help in a sense of uh, point production, but having him on the floor uh, is still uh, very beneficial to this program. Anything else? Okay, man. Thank you for coming down. Appreciate your Thank time. You.